Hey everyone, welcome to the famous mommy. I am going to teach you today how to wash your Medela pump parts. Um, it's very important and I'll tell you why. Um, the first child I had, I was trying so hard to pump and breastfeed and get the most out of my milk even though we were set up wrong at the hospital so I didn't get as much milk as I was supposed to. Um, I got mold in my pump parts, black mold, and I was wondering why my baby didn't want to drink the bottle anymore. Um, it freaked me out. I, I saw just a touch of it and I was like, what is that? And I realized um, I had no idea that you were supposed to take apart the entire thing or how to get up in those little areas. Um, I just was a new mom. I didn't know these things and I wish someone would have done a tutorial like this to teach me how to wash my pump parts so that this never would have happened. And unfortunately it will happen if you do not take very good care to wash your pump parts very, very clean. Um, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I mean, if you can see my crazy red eyes as I am so tired from an, a whole day of my beautiful girls. Um, you know, I only drink one cup of coffee a day. I don't do drugs. I don't drink alcohol. So there's not really much I can do to try to stay awake other than just a little bit of exercise and rooting myself on. <laughs> go mom, go mom. Um, so I'm going to show you the products I use and here we go. I'm going to show you how I wash my pump parts. Okay. This first you wash your hands. Of course, this is a product I love. Like, I totally stand by it, palm olive. It just, it makes your hands not so dry and it also works really well to get all of the milk residue off of your pump parts. Okay, so basically, let me reestablish. Okay, so let's say, okay, we just pumped. Let me just put it back together real quick because I, I always take it apart and put them in the sink. And then at night, I, I have two sets. So that's what I recommend is having two sets and I, the first one in the morning I throw in the sink and it sits there all day. I know it kind of sucks, but I don't really have time. I have all these kids, the two kids running around going crazy. All these kids, I sound like I have 20 million kids. So, <laughs> sorry if I'm rambling, like I said, I'm a little deliriously tired right now. Um, take this apart. Okay, you wanna make sure every single piece of your pump is completely apart. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna unscrew the bottle. Okay, bottle's going in the sink. Okay, this is very important. See, this is what I did made the mistake of. I didn't know you had to take this apart every time. No one told me, no one showed me. Let's see if I can get that up a little more. So what you wanna do is very, very carefully, you wanna extract this, okay? Because if you don't, if you're not careful, this little piece right here can rip. And if that rips and you have a hole there, it won't do the suction anymore from your pump. So we're gonna be really careful and try to put your finger underneath and kind of pull very gently till it comes out, okay? Now this part I put aside, I don't put it in the sink so that it doesn't fall into the sink, obviously, because if you lose it, it's gone. And then this part you twist and pull out. Okay, so now we have our pump parts. Now, um, a few things that I recommend. I also recommend, uh-oh, and now of course I can't find what I need. So I have one that's kind of similar. I recommend getting something uh, along the lines of, this. oh, here it is. Okay, this is the one I like to use. This is my old one. This is the one that I was using for a while. This works wonders. Um, you also want to get one of these ones, the rounded ones, and I'll show you why. Okay, we just want to turn on the water. What I do is I get the water as hot as I possibly can so it kind of melts the milk off along with the soap. And what I like to do is once I've, once I've extracted all of my little white parts here, I have four of them so give me a second, sorry. There's three. I'm waiting for the water to heat up too because it's freezing right now <laughs> here where I'm at. Okay, and what I do is I take the parts, and I hope you don't mind, give me a second, I'm gonna move this down just a tad, and hope it sticks. Or maybe, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, oh my goodness, I 
just a mess today. Sorry, guys. Not a professional. I would like to be professionally doing these videos. <laughs> okay, so I have my, my parts. I'm going to put a little soap on them. I use a ton of this. I mean, I probably shouldn't use that much. It's wasteful, but... Okay, so I'm waiting for the water to heat up. Now what I do is I kind of get the soap on every single one of them, okay? Make sure it's rubbed in the back with, I do the two fingers and I do above here because you want to get all that milk out. You don't want to get bacteria or anything. And then what I do is I rinse them off once I can get my water tolerable. Okay. All right, now. Rinsing these off in the water like this. And then what I'm going to do one by one is going to make sure all of that soap is off. With both fingers, usually I use both fingers. But right now I'm just gonna use the one in, you know, in order to make the video to show you guys what I'm doing. I wish somehow I could get the let me put them down here. Okay, so that one's done. Now, I recommend, this is what I recommend because I, I love this thing, okay? Um, I got this little thing from Target, and it's like a small mini version of, here, let me explain. It's like a small mini version of those uh, dishwashing racks that dry your dishes. See, because um, it, I got the little one. It's got a place for where you put your, let's see, can you see that? Yeah, where you put your little part here. And then you can put your nipples, you can either face them up or you can face them down, such as like that, so they dry. And then there's a little place where I keep the um, bottle, bottle area, or bottle things, you know, the little back thing. And they also have little things where they hold your bottles. So I love this thing, it makes everything so much easier. Now, let's see if I can take this down so I'll show you more. Gosh, <laughs> maybe I'm not gonna post this video. I'm doing the best I can, though, guys. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, that. Let's see if you can see better. Okay, let me just. All right, now. Now you can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, this is much better. All right, so we're gonna rinse these off. Okay, I just rinse. Ooh, that's hot. So I'm gonna just hold on a little bit so it's still hot, but. Rinsing, 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 rinsing. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I've got all those rinsed off now. I'm going to put them over here on my drying area. And then let's see what else I have. Okay, now we're going to take, take the soap. This is what I like to do with these ones. Okay, let's turn the water so we don't waste. Okay, if you see in here, there are these two areas right here. That is where I got mold. It's like right in here and right in here because I, I did not know how to wash my pump parts correctly. Okay, so this is why I'm trying to teach you guys this. Okay, so right in there and right in there, we're gonna, t I take the soap and I directly put it into those tiny little holes. And then what I do is I take my hot water and I put it and make it a little sudsy and then I take this and I start doing this. And I clean it all out, both of them. You wanna do both sides. I don't know if you can see it going in and out of the, okay? So you wanna get all up in there and out, right? All the way, both sides. Okay, now, then I rinse a little bit with water to make it a little sudsy again. I take this and I scrub all around in there. Then you go to this part Scrub all the way around in there because that's where all the milk goes. And then I still even do this part right there. So, I mean, you get the gist. Then what I do is I take the hot water as hot as I can stand it and run it through. Run it through just like it was pumping milk. So, if you can see it, I run it through like that. And then I run it through this side. Like that. And just until I see no more bubbles. And get it all cleaned out. Okay, so that's how we rinse that part. Okay, so now for the flanges. I recommend getting one of these 
it's not I know it looks like a toilet bowl cleaner but it's not it's an actual bottle cleaner it's a really sturdy one it's very very good the other little ones that they sell four bottles you know a lot of them they're kind of cheap and they just wear out so fast these ones are amazing though I love it it's a little more expensive but you find it in like the cleaning area um, where they have the mops and all the other stuff okay so we're gonna, I'm gonna get this wet around there and then what I like to do is I put the soap around where the nipple goes and we take this and we start scrubbing. You wanna scrub and make sure all the soap gets on it and then kinda get this in as far as you can. It doesn't really go in, but what I like to do, which is easiest for me, is take my finger and rub it around inside. Just like swirl it around all the way till you get it all the way around and then do the outside, of course. Now how I rinse this is I take it and I, oh, I don't know if you can see this right here. So I take it and I rub my finger on the inside and on the outside until I feel it completely free of soap. So it's like makes that little sound rather than it being like still really um, slippery with the soap. So you can kind of, no, and then I also take the finger in, make sure it's all out of there so that the baby's not drinking soap. We don't want to drink soap, right? <laughs> we don't want the baby to drink soap. Okay, so that part, that's the flange. And I put that on my little thing over there. Okay, now these parts. These parts are a little tricky because you want to get all the way up in there. You need to get all of it. That's where all the milk touches. You don't want any bacteria growing on this. Okay, so we're going to run some hot water through it. Uh-oh. I've got a baby in the back frame. Hold on one second, I'll be right back with you. Oh no, what's the name of her? Can you tell? Okay. Sorry about that. Luckily I pumped a bottle for her, so that's what I did. I just gave her her baba right now. Okay, so here's I put the soap, a little bit of soap in there. And then I like to swirl it around with my finger. And then I like to take this guy, get him wet again, and put a little water through it to make the suds. And then I insert this in here and I kind of just like switch it back and forth. Switch it back and forth like this, like a key. Turn it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? And then you take it out and you have to get the rim area too. You need to really thoroughly clean your pump parts so that you don't, like I said, get bacteria or mold. Mold's like the worst, and the bacteria too, they can get really sick from bacteria as well. Okay, so then hot water, as hot as I can stand it, through it, and I rinse the outside, rinse the inside, rinse in there, until it squeaks. I make sure with my finger that it's squeaky so that it's not slippery with the soap on it anymore. Okay, now we're done with those parts. Well, I'll do the rest of the other parts later. I just want to pretty much show you. Okay, now we're ready for the bottle. Now what I do is I kind of fill it, I fill it like halfway with the, maybe a little more than halfway for this one. Put a little soap in there. Probably way too much, but I really want to get a good clean because these are the parts that your baby drinks from. You know, you want to make sure all that breast milk is gone because you're going to sit there and the, by the next time you pump, it can, it can grow bacteria. So then I put a little water under there to make the bubbles. We take our bottle washer and I kind of, you kind of got to like squish it in just gently so that you don't make a big mess. Cause if you do it too fast, it goes and like splashes water all over and that's not fun for anyone. <laughs> So then what I do is I push down here so that this end of the bottle washer is on the end and I push and then I just turn it while I'm pushing so it gets that bottom corner underneath like really well and then I rub the sides. I do all of the sides as I'm turning it and then I also turn it as I go up the sides and all the way up so that you really and then I just kind of just keep going till I feel like I got it really clean. So then you kind of just gently take this out so it doesn't splash all over. Okay, now that should be clean, but the thing is you have to get all the soap out. So we are gonna, what I do is I kind of just like let, let the water run and then you shake it so that it gets the bottom part of the soap as well. 
So like I'll let it run until the soap comes out like that, most of the soap, and then shake, 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 because as you're shaking, it's still cleaning. It's like doing another whole cleaning inside there. So it gets all the bottom and everything else for all the milk. So I fill it up, shake, 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 shake to clean it out until you can make sure you don't have soap on your fingers. Make sure it does that squeak. So nope, it's still got a little bit more. And you can kind of like shake it while the water's going in. Shake, 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 and it gets it out. Now let's see again. Oh, you hear that nice little squeak? Okay, that's pretty much all the soap got out. Okay, so another tip I'd like to give you as far as the condensation, condensation of of the tubing that inserts into the, the Medela pump itself. Let me show you real quick. I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay, there's this tubing here. This tubing right here. Okay, this gets condensation um, while you're pumping and that's like a wet kind of like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like it gets wet inside. And some people take it off, take off their tubing, and they wash it every time. I don't do it every time, but I do wash it and let it dry occasionally. Uh, but what I do is I turn the pump on, turn it on full blast so that it's, you know, here, let me show you. Let's see here. So I turn on my pump, I turn it on full blast, and I turn it to the pulling, the pulling, right? And so what it does is it's just like pushing air through it. I'm not sure if this is the right way that you're supposed to do something. You can look it up and call it professional. You can take my advice, though, if you want to. Uh, just please don't hold me responsible for anything. Because, <laughs> like I said, I don't know for sure if this is the way. But this is how I do it. Um, and it just basically keeps pushing air through. Because if you see, like, you can kind of hear how it's pushing the air through. And the air naturally dries the condensation that was in the tubing. So that's my easy, quick kind of hack, if you will. I always check every day to make sure that there's no condensation in there until it's fully dry. And I make sure there's no mold or anything else in the tubing to make sure that I'm not harming the baby in any way, of course. So then I just let that go until the condensation is over. Now what you wanna do, every maybe I, for me, I waited every two weeks. So, I mean, I kind of pumped a lot before I went back and sanitized. But, uh, so like say every two weeks, because I only pump twice a day, I take all my pump parts, I wash them thoroughly like I showed you now. And then I take them downstairs, I boil a pot of water, and I put all the pump parts, including the little plastic um, stopper thing, the little white thing, this thing too. This thing, it doesn't get damaged, it still is able to be boiled. And you want to get it a really good rolling boil before you put your pump parts in. You throw them in, you wait for it to rolling boil again, and you leave them in for five full minutes. You can take the tongs and hold them under. Um, just make sure that it's in there. Even the bottles, everything goes in for five minutes. And once that's done, you turn it off, take it off the heat, and then you take them out and then you let them air dry. And then I always rewash them with the soap and water just to make sure. And there you go. Now you have sanitized pump parts and you're ready to start again. So I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and our channel, actually my beautiful babies included and hubby as well. And uh, like and share our videos. We would love to do so many more. Leave notes in the comments for me of anything else that you would like to learn or any videos that I can do to help you have a better breastfeeding experience or using your pump or even being a mom from all that I've gone through and all that I've learned in this two and a half years of my daughter's life and my new baby is almost eight months. So um, I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. You have a beautiful evening and I hope to see you again. Good night. Mwah.